Hi, in this lecture, we'll look into how the call is flowing between the user to the radio access network and then, then to the core network during the initial access and the registration procedure. We split this call flow into two parts. The first, we'll talk about the call flow that is happening between the user equipment and the radio access network. And we'll cover the first seven sections quickly. So whenever a user has to connect to the network in a downlink, it will keep continuously getting the information about the network through the synchronization signals and the broadcast channel. Now, the synchronization signal helps to identify the central frequency of the particular uh, telecom operator they are basically having the SIM from. So they will keep op observing these synchronization signals to identify the central frequency. Once it is identified, it will start synchronization will start in that case. Once it is done, there will be a broadcast channel which is which is continuously traveling in the downlink from the network to the user equipment and it carries all the information that is required to initially access the network. Then there are a system information block which are there in the shared channels and it carries all the information that is required uh, related to the thresholds that are defined in the network to, so as to connect to the network initially, either it is a cell selection and then move from one cell to another cell, what is the threshold defined for e-selection. Either this particular cell is barred or not barred, either they can latch it on to this particular cell or not. Then what is the PLMN identity of this particular cell? Those all information are being transmitted in the SIP block or system information block. After the downlink synchronization is done there is a uplink synchronization that needs to be done and for that ue will send a ratch preamble so after that there is a response going down from the uh, base station to the ue which gives a backer response that okay this particular ue is allowed to and this is now synchronized with the network and after that there is a, a layer 3 setup which will happen which is a rrc setup that request will come from the ue once the setup is come up, in this case, it will take uh, all the information related to the tracking area and uh, how this particular uh, users will be allocated with the resources. What is the cause of the establishment of this particular instance through the user towards the network? And what is the uplink uh, CQI and then accordingly the channel coding scheme that will be allocated to the user? Once the request is received, there is a setup back uh, in the downlink from the base station to the UE. And once the RRC is set up, the next step is the communication towards the core network, which we'll see in the next slide. 